It is day two of the high school boys basketball tournament, and today Sergeant Bluff Luton and Sioux City East both hoping to advance. KCAU 9's Jesse Quirrell has more on all of the action from Des Moines. Hey, Bridget. Well, prior to 2017, Sergeant Bluff Luton really didn't have a strong basketball culture, especially at the state tournament. Before that, they made only just one state tourney appearance, and that was all the way back in 1940, and they were only known as Sergeant Bluff. And for the Warriors, a 16 senior. Well, now the Warriors are making their third straight tournament appearance, taking on Winterset in the quarterfinals. SBL working the ball cross court to a wide open Derek Fitzgerald. That opened up the scoring, but it'd be a rough first half from the field for the Warriors. Sam DeMoss tossing it down to Daniel Wright, who holds off a defender for the bucket and the foul. He would earn the old fashioned three point play. Now, Wright, he was shown that he can do more than just dominate on the blocks, getting the mid range J to go. Wright tallied 18 points, but the Warriors trailed 14 to 8 after the first quarter. But they did try to keep chipping away at that lead. Sam DeMoss hitting nothing but nylon. He finished with 10 points. Then the Warriors were looking for the DeMoss Wright connection once more, but instead, how about Fitzgerald just comes out of nowhere for the second chance bucket? But unfortunately, SBL trailed 26 to 16 heading into half. The Warriors, though, they didn't stop fighting. Connor Groves getting extra silky in the fourth quarter, knocking down the three. Then the Briar Clue commit pulls up from nearly the Wolves logo. Groves scored 14 in this one, but Sergeant Bluff's late rally falls short as Winterset completes the upset and wins 59 to 54. Really couldn't get anything falling in the, in the first half. Um, that's reality. It happens. Um, you know, halftime talk, we said we were going to stick with it. Um, we needed something to. You know, give us fuel in the second half. Um, we started making some good shots. Their defense was a huge factor, and uh, you know, obviously we've been working against that zone all week in practice. But they do such a good job with it; it's a little hard to replicate their activity in practice. We we could have made it a lot farther. Uh, I had high expectations for us and my teammates, and honestly, I'm just waiting for someone to wake me up from this nightmare. I really didn't think it would go down like this, but uh, you just gotta get back to work at school and keep grinding over the off season and make sure that we get back. I think now. Every season, no matter what sport it is, we're looking to get into the state tournament. And unfortunately, yeah, we haven't won a state championship, but we still have goals. And every single year, no matter what sport, we want to get to the state tournament. It's, it sucks knowing that I'm going to be able to play here again, but um, it's reality. I'm on the next chapter, Mark, but I just want to thank my teammates. For the, every year that we've been here, it's been awesome. I want to thank my coaches. They've done a great job of uh, coaching me and making me become a better person. It's the thing that in time, um, that will reflect back, and there's a lot of great memories. Um, a team, we always say, a team is about people, and most of the great memories I think from this team will be from other things. The Warriors finished the year with a 20 and 4 record, and we'll have a full recap of Sioux City East game coming up at 10. But that's it for me now in Des Moines. Jesse Krall, KCAU 9 Sports.